Offensive coordinator Rod Smith is with us. Coach, as you know, this offense struggled last year. You weren't a part of it, but you came into an offense that you knew needed to be overhauled. What was the first step in terms of getting your system into place? Well, I think the first step was ingratiating myself with our, with our players. I was the new guy. Um, I told them I wanted to earn their respect, not the other way around. So I wanted to make sure I got to know our players. Uh, and it's a lot easier when that happens. The buy-in process is a lot easier. And our kids are bought in now. Uh, we worked hand in hand, and then once you do that, then obviously it's it's meetings, it's it's all the little things you got to do to get everything installed. Meeting with your quarterbacks at times, whenever the NCAA allows it, and do as much as you possibly can. How different has it been for the players? Was there any carryover schematically? Actually, coach, there was. There was some carryover at times. Um, so that I think that helped transition a little bit. There was some familiarity uh, in some of the things that they were doing. Obviously, the tempo, the pace, and, and, and uh, the stay and spread more often is different. And uh, getting them used to playing at this type of style is a conditioning factor that plays a part of that as well. Kendra Green goes from defensive line to offensive line, steps right in. Looks like he had a really nice day today. How's he been developing since making the change? Really excited about Kendrick. He's doing a great job for us, particularly, like you said, for only being two weeks in the camp, uh, making the transition. He's a big, strong, he can move. Um, he played offensive line in high school, so mm -hmm. it's not it's not first time he's ever did it, but it's first time on this level, and uh, he's making the transition well. We're super excited about where his future is going to be. How much of the scheme do you put in the first year? Uh, we we probably got I would say 85 percent of it in. I mean, we put a good good little bulk in. Um, you know, I, I told our staff we want to make sure that we get good at something. Let's be able to hang our hat on something. Let's let's not be a uh, uh, be all over the place with what we're trying to do and, and whatnot. Let's make sure we, we're, we're fundamentally sound. Let's make sure we, we get good at something so that way we can hang our hat. Do you know what you're going to hang your hat on yet? Uh, September 1st. <laughs> <laughs> hang it on the date. That's right. Well, you've got some really talented guys on the flank, and, and now you, you bring in Bush. Looks like he's doing a really tremendous job. Two quarterbacks that you can play. How does that development really help this team offensively? Well, I think when you bring a guy in like A.J. Bush, who's who's a veteran guy, and he may not have played a lot of games, but you got to think how many practice reps he's had against Bud Foster's defense, how many practice reps he's had against Coach Pelini's defense. You know what I mean? So that 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 stands for something. And he's been around football for a long time, and he's a good player. So when you bring him in, then with his leadership and his character, it, he just rub it off. He's infectious to our football team, and he's becoming one of our leaders on our team. Coach, how do you get more out of this running back group? Well, I think we got a good stable. I really do. I think we have four or five guys that, that are very capable of, of, of getting the job done. Um, it's going to be up to us to divvy it out, how, who gets carries and who gets reps. And, you know, I tell them all the guys, if, if you're good enough to play, if you're good enough to win with, we're going to play you. So we'll make sure, maybe the positive is we keep a fresh running back in the whole game. Fresh legs. Offensive coordinator Rod Smith. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Appreciate it.